Okay, making a post is a lot like making a page, only with the post you have a lot more options. So we're going to make a demo post. A demo post. Going to start out by naming it new post, new photos. And as you can see here, as soon as we name it, it's going to give it a location. And it also always uses hyphens in place of spaces in all lower cases. Then we go ahead and add a blurb. And you, see, you can see on the left hand side you can also edit and add new ones just by clicking on the side tab. And just like pages you can make them public or private and set the date when they'll be published. Now if we go to the published post we can see that it has all of the themes surrounding it and it fits right into place. Then we can go back and edit it if we choose. If we go to edit on the left hand side we can see all the posts that we've done and we can select the same options such as delete and confirm it and then that post is gone. You can also update older posts by clicking on the titles you click on the title, you can enter it, you see everything that you've done before. You can simply type new content in there. And then on the right hand side, you see the tab to update a post. And that will save all of your changes. Just like before, you can still go to the HTML or the visual side and upload any pictures that you would like to. If the post is published, it's public, and you can see it just by going to your blog page. For example, on Steve Guyman Photography, the Articles tab has been used as his blog page. So you can see on the right, there's recent posts. That's anything that he's just recently made a post for will appear under that tab. And then the post appears with the ability to leave comment at the bottom of the page. Another feature of posts is the ability to categorize each post. You can add new categories and do anything with your categories by clicking on the left hand tab of categories. Here we're going to start create a new category called Steve Diamond's Photos. Then you enter a category slug, which is just the web address to access this category. Then you can select a category parent, which is like a folder that it would go in, and a description. 